Hey guys, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and today we have the new E-Flight Stick. And no, we're not going to unbox it. We're going to show you how to program your TX-16 and bind it and set it up for the E-Flight yes. Ultra Stick. Ultra Stick. Enough BS. Let's get to it. Notice we have the... We have removed the prop. Because... Why? When you're dealing with anything with gyros and planes and things well, that spin in general, <laughs> um, radio setup, if, especially if you're not familiar with the stuff, 110% please remove your prop. Right. Always do it. So here we go. So we got a, uh, we're gonna go to models. I'm gonna create a new model here. Um, create a new model. And this is a touch screen, but I'm using the, the buttons as much as I can so it's not blocking the screen. Uh, blank model. If you find value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We have lots of tutorials with the TX-16 from Radio Master. And sometimes we do Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna select here. So now that we got the blank model set up, we're gonna to have to set up dual rates expo. So, um, first things first, we need to make sure we assign this. This is a multi-module, so we need to go down and select the radio protocol. Um, so internal RF, multi, because this is an internal four and one. We're gonna to go to DSM, DSM, and then I'm just gonna to go to auto, and that will auto select. There's a few receivers out there, you need to force it to a certain one, but other than that, should be good. So when we get to that point, once we get the radio set up, we'll go to the binding and we'll come back to that. But this is the first step there. So now we're gonna go page over and we're gonna go to inputs. Now this is where we're gonna set the dual rates up. So um, depending on what you wanna do, we're gonna do a single switch for ease of simplicity here. We're just gonna do a three position switch, switch B. Um, it does show a two position or a three position. I'm gonna go ahead and do a three position switch. Um, so I'm gonna use switch B for this procedure here It'll okay high medium low rates it's going to do low medium and high rates oh, yes okay um so all i'm going to do is here go into my input select it we're going to edit it and we're going to select the switch it is going to be now i want low medium then high so my low is going to be all the way up that's switch b with the arrow up select it there my weight is going to be low and they're recommending 50 70 and 100 so let's go to 50 And they talk about not using Expo for the first try or for the first time and doing it there. I've always set my planes up with like a minimum, like 30% Expo in all my surfaces just for the first flight. It just, that stutters go away. So we're going to go ahead and just throw 30% Expo in here. It's a little extra for you. Um, you can adjust that however you like, but basically we're going down to the Expo and setting it there. Now we're going to go back, back out, and you'll see we got 50% throw with switch B up on the aileron stick expo 30. so what we can actually do here is copy or insert after so now we created this right here and we're going to do a copy and then we're going to do paste after and this is duplicating it but what i'm going to do is select the new one and i'm going to edit that one and now i'm just going to change the weight to 70. so there are my switch position is going to be the middle and then my expo, the reason I copied it is so I didn't have to do the expo again. Realistically, that's probably more work than we need to do. So whatever. So while we're at it, guys, if you have any issues or questions or comments, concerns with the setup using a radio master and all that with like an AS3X plane or similar with a DSMX, comment in the description below and let's see what we got because that'll help us further do videos. So we got switch position middle, 70% throw, 30% expo. So we're gonna back out of that and we're gonna paste after again and now we're going to go to the bottom one and we're going to edit switch b to the bottom weight is going to be 100 and expose still at 30. so that's 50 70 100 on three positions which is a b and 30 percent expo all in the aileron so now we're going to do the elevator so now we're going to roll down to the elevator select it edit input elevator switch we're going to do also switch b up we're gonna do a weight of 50% again. So you're having all the rates on one button? I'm gonna do them all on switch B. You can move it to switch. If you want individual switches, that's you. You literally just assign the switch you wanna do. Let's do two different switches. So let's do a different switch. Yeah. All right, fine. We're gonna do a different switch. Exactly opposite of what I was gonna do, but Basil wants to do it. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go back and confuse you. So now we're gonna switch, switch C, three position rate. Um, to the top, so you see the C with the up arrow. Then we're gonna go sources elevator, we got 50% expo, or 50% rate, sorry. 
And then Expo, I'm again going to throw 30% in there. All right. And since we're doing it completely different again, we're just going to insert after. We're going to do switch C in the middle. We're going to do the weight of 70. Expo again, we're doing 30. Now you want to make sure you're doing a positive number. If you do a negative number, you're going to have really okay. sensitive sticks around the middle. Um, so that's 50, 70, and then we're just going to insert after again. And it doesn't really matter if you do it before or after, if you mix it up, but it just looks cleaner on the chart. And as if the more organized you stay with OpenTX and EdgeTX, the better. Um, switch position, C down. So now we're on a third position on switch C, again for elevator, and we're going to do a weight of 100, and we're going to do Expo again at 30%. So now we got elevator 50, 70, 100 on switch C. Now on rudder, we're going to do edit. Then we're going to do switch. Let's do another switch, right, Basil? Sure. Do we want another three position <laughs> switch? Let's use switch G. Sure. So G, hey, oh, I have, instead use, of being able to show you everything on one switch, we're going to do it differently. So Wait, use a toggle switch, Will. <laughs> so switch G, uh, I'm going to do 50%. Ooh, not negative 50. 50%. Guys, it's been a long day. Just remember that. Expo, and I'm gonna do 20%. I don't need a lot of Expo on the vertical. All right, so we got that here. I'm gonna back out of that just by hitting a return a bunch. And then we're gonna click it again, click on the rudder, and then insert after. Now we're gonna do, what switch were we doing, Basil? Uh, G, I G middle. Ah, 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 <laughs> I feel like it's Sesame Street here. Um, rudder, switch G, and now we're gonna do the middle G position for switch and then 70% expo again, or se I'm sorry, 70% throw. And then again, another 20% expo. Expo is optional, um, probably not needed on this particular aircraft, but this is more of a general video that we can reference for other planes in the future um, is why we're doing it this way. Switch G to the third position, switch G down, um, A town down, I don't know. Wait, um, 100%. Middle position, and this is what happens when you don't pay attention. You're talking and being a smartass. So we're going for basically low, medium, high. Yeah. All it. right. So switch G down. Weight 100%. Expo. I'm gonna put it back on 20. So there's two different ways. Again, and I'll just go over this real quick. But when you're adding the next line, you click the thumb wheel um, in case you weren't paying attention, or you could touch it. And you're going to either insert after, insert before, however you want to do it. But if you want to the lower line, insert after. It's kind of like, uh, was it, Excel or something like yeah. that? Um, and then if you copy the first one, if you want, like, say you have a bunch of other switches and expos and modes and you want to copy that and use it over. So you're, there's, if it has a lot of stuff in it, use the copy function so you can tweak little things like the amount of throw, the expo and the dual right position and the switch position. If you're just setting up very minimal stuff, it really doesn't buy you anything to copy versus just inserting another line and entering it. Uh, just keep that in mind for you guys. Um, so I just showed the two different ways. I did half and half just to kind of give you an idea. But realistically, we're just gonna show here, and I guess I'll move all the switches. I was gonna do it all on one switch to show you all three moving at the same time, but someone decided to tell us not to. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so aileron input here, you'll see when I move the switch, you're getting 50. 70 and 100 it's highlighted moving down to the elevator if i move my switch you'll see 50 70 and 100 and then moving down to the rudder you'll see my move my switch 50 70 100 and that's all with the expo so that's all your rate set up here the last thing to do is throttle cut and setting up our as3x channel switch um so what we're going to do here is go to model we're going to tab over to special functions, special functions. We're gonna click SF1 and we're gonna assign a kill switch. So on this particular radio that I'm he using here, a default radio master, SF is typically your default switch um, for kill. This particular radio, we if you remember in our previous video, we actually did the reverse switch kit in this. So my two position switch is actually on this side, not here. So in order to do my two position switch for arm and disarm, I have to assign it here. So I want the motors to be killed with the switch up. I want to arm it and disarm it. So what I need to do is flip the switch back to the up position, which is switch H in this case, not uh, F. 
I think it's F, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna, my two position switch that I'm assigning, which you can use any, any switch you want, but as far as what you wanna do, I usually do the corner switch. So my kill switch is gonna be, the motor will be disarmed when this switch is down. So that's where I'm at, SH up. We're gonna select override and we're gonna do channel uh, three. Now you're might, probably thinking, well, this is a spectrum. Throttle, aileron, elevator, rotor. The radio master automatically defaults AETR, aileron, elevator, throttle, rotor. When it binds to a spectrum receiver, it automatically remaps it for you with the auto function. You can change that yourself, but in this case, we are gonna use channel three because the radio, um, not the multi-module, that's the output, but the input part throttle is on channel three in this system. So we're gonna do channel three and we're gonna override it to negative 100. So we have disabled throttle, negative 100% throttle, and we have to click enable. Okay, so once that's there, let's go back and you'll see SH, my switch, when it's up, it kills the motor, overrides negative 100. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. So you can see on our channel switch here, um, with it disabled, my channel three is not moving. It's at negative 100. When I arm it, you'll see I have full range of motion here. So that is what the special function switch override is doing in this case. We are using a throttle kill. If you want to play music, whatever, or have play a track, you can do that as well. We can do that in a later video, but for this, we're just doing the basic setup. All right, so in my opinion, throttle kill is a necessary thing on a plane for safety. You'll also see that we've taken the prop off this plane here because even though it comes pre-installed, safety, guys. Um, you don't want to lose a finger or have it fly into something that damages something in the house or people. All right, guys, so with the limited room we have here, we're going to go ahead and, and bind up the radio before we assign the safe switch because in order to safe set the safe switch, you have to cycle it five times on a bound receiver. So we're gonna do this. Um, this has an IC3 connector. We have XT60 batteries, so I'm using this handy little XT60 to EC3 adapter that we sell. Um, makes things life easier on a bind buddy just because it's easier to do this one-handed. Um, plug it in here, because that is a kind of a tight connector when they're new. And in order to bind it, there's two ways of binding. Um, if we want to use safe select or not, no safe select, um, we're going to go ahead and put safe select on this where it auto levels. Um, so what you need to do in order to do safe select using the bind button, there's a button right here. You can hear it. Wait. Okay. This is the radio off, mm -hmm. or the receiver off. Mm -hmm. We're going to push the button here mm -hmm. and then we're going to, this is the fun part. I'm actually going to have to hold this. So let me do it this way. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, all right, so let me go into model. Okay. We're going to go all the way back to where we go to the DSM that we set up earlier, DSMX, uh, DSM, auto, 22 millisecond, and then we're going to go to bind, okay? So mm -hmm. I have it ready for the bind button because what I have to do is I have to push and hold this button, bind it, let it lock, and then let go of the button. Otherwise, safe will be disabled. Okay. Or safe select will be disabled, sorry. Okay, so we're going to push the button. On the receiver. And either plug in the battery or I'm going to use my bind buddy to... To turn it on here, you'll see the orange flashing. Okay. We got the beeps. So now, with that being held, I'm gonna push bind. Okay. And you'll see the light slow down, and it locked, okay? So now once the light is locked, it's no longer flashing, I can let go of the button. And you should hear two cycles. If you see one set of twitching, now the aileron will move too, but I don't have the wing on it. But the, uh, when the tail surfaces go one time, that means safe is dis safe select is disabled. If it goes two times, that means safe select is enabled. Um, and there you go. So now that we have that there, um, with the receiver bound, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wing put on this so we can show and check our aileron, elevator, and rudder throttle or travel direction, sorry. Um, so that's one thing we're gonna have to set, okay? Now let's check this real quick and see what we got going on for control surfaces. We're gonna move the aileron, I'm giving right, that is backwards. Hold on. Yeah. If I move right stick, the right aileron should go up, and it is not. So that needs to be reversed. So we need to reverse ailerons. Okay. Let's check elevator. Put it back. So I can see. Elevator yeah. is going the correct direction. Rudder is not going the correct direction. The rudder is reversed. So we need to reverse ailerons and rudder. So yeah. into the radio, okay. we go. All right, so what we need to do is reverse our Aileron and rudder, we said, right? Mm -hmm. So we channel one and channel four. So we're gonna go to outputs, channel one, edit, and we're going to invert. 
And then we're going to go back, and then channel four, edit, and invert. Now let's check and see what we did here. So we have right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. And uh, notice, I know we said it before, but notice we have the... We have removed the prop. Because, why? When you're dealing with anything with gyros and planes and things well, that spin in general, <laughs> um, radio setup, if, especially if you're not familiar with the stuff, 110%, please remove your prop. Right. Always do it. Well, um, also, if you reverse the channel accidentally on the throttle channel, it may go from zero to off. Correct. Or yeah. zero if, to And that 100%. is actually very good. Um, if you are accidentally reversing the wrong channel, yeah. We done yet? Well, if we're doing safe select, which is what we did, we need to assign a switch to safe select. Otherwise, it's going to be permanently in uh, safe mode versus AS3X. Okay. So they are saying to assign it to a two-position switch, which I thought safe was three, but... That's what the manual is saying. So we're going to assign it to a two position switch. Um, in this case, we're going to do this pretty easily. We're just going to go to model. We're going to go over to mixes and I'm going to use channel five. So channel five, edit source. And we're going to do select source. And let's see what two position switch do we want? Let's do, well, I'm just going to use E even though it's a three position, I'm just going to use E. So we got E as our switch. Okay, um, and from there, what we need to do is telling us to assign the switch. We got the powered up the plane, powered up the transmitter, move both sticks to the bottom inside corners on high rates. So we need to put, make sure we're in high rate for 100% throw, and we need to move both sticks to the inside bottom corners, and then you toggle the switch five times up and down. Wow. After the fifth time, you'll see the tail surfaces flicker. So make sure you get the tail mm -hmm. or at least something in the background. Okay. So we used, what What do you say? Switch A? E. E? Something like All that. All right. Yeah. Ready? And I think I... I think it was four. Did I do it four? Try it again. All right. Hold on. <laughs> there. There you go. Okay, the tail flickered. Um, aircraft control surface will move, indicating the switch has been selected. All right, it moved. Now, is there a light on this receiver that lets you know? I don't see any see sort of light. light. Yeah. Just the red light. Huh. Now, when I move the switch, I'm actually getting a correcting, so that probably is the gyro. And that's the fun part, guys. Spectrum, you didn't give us a way to tell which one's which. I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. Put another color. It's another <laughs> LED. It's one LED. There is telemetry you can get off the speed control with this thing. To, in order to get that, you're going to have to set up, uh, you know, more widgets and all that. But to get the information is what I'm going to show you here. So we're going to go to system. Oh, I'm sorry, model. And then we're going to page to the left to get to telemetry. And then we're going to discover sensors. Sensor lost. And there's a whole bunch of crap that comes up right there. Look at all that. That is all kinds of, and then we're just gonna hit stop so I don't need to keep discovering. But using this right here, you'll be able to take some stuff out of this. You got like telemetry, fades, holds. Um, actually tells you, if I move the plane around, it can actually tell you God, gyro that. orientation. So, so if you want it to like, I wanna know I'm flying level, you can actually set that up and then set up alarms Lord. and all kinds of stuff. Um, this is talking about receiver voltage. Um, I don't know if this will do current sensing without a, that's not a, yeah. Let's see. That's what the prop's off, everybody. Yeah. Uh, we're not, cool. with, the, with the prop off, we're not really able to get much on this, but um, there's a s average cell voltage, so you'll actually be able to put telemetry there um, and read this is a three cell battery, but it's it all it does is take the total number and divide it by three. Um, it's recognizing the ESC is, uh, detecting a three cell, but you're able to do that. There's current usage, pack voltage, uh, ESC temperature, it looks like. That's getting a little more complex than this video. We're just trying to show you guys, um, even though this is a spectrum manual, it can be used to set up any radio with OpenTX. You can, all you have to do is take these words and make it work on this.